Hey Leo people or people with Leo placements. Um, so somebody's looking for something specific. You're just waiting to spot it or encounter it. Uh, you mean business and you don't have time to play with people. Somebody has tunnel vision. Their eyes are on the prize and they are planning to obtain it. Somebody knows what they want or who. And they have been studying to pass the exam that provides the reward they want. So it's like a test or something. Somebody been doing their homework and it's, an, it's a matter of time before they approach. So I don't know if this is a goal you set for yourself or this is somebody trying to get a, a person. <laughs> okay. Um, but it is about something. I guess it could be both. I guess it depends on the situation. It's different for everybody. Somebody got their eyes on you or this is you. For others, you don't see it the way the person does. So it is for some of y'all people. For some of y'all could have personal goals that y'all got tunnel vision and you focused and you got time for shit, okay? Um, but for some of y'all, this is about a person. And the person that has their eye on you and try to obtain you, you don't see it the way they see it. As far as you're concerned, they can study all they want, but they will still fail <laughs> the exam. <laughs> They aren't, there aren't any more attempts at the exam. You've given out all the chances that you're willing to, to this person. This other person is serious. So I guess it's about two people because it's another person in the energy where they're serious. They seen some of what you've been through or heard about it. They want to show you better so you know it exists. Plus they think you would make a great partner. They're extremely interested for some, you've been through the same thing or something similar as this person. So it's like somebody in the back. It could be for some of y'all, y'all got two energies where somebody thinking they're going to get back in, they studying, they're doing all the right things or they're trying, but as far as you're concerned, ain't no more chances to give to this person. Whereas there's somebody else in the energy that's like, dang, look at her or look at him. They've been through this, they've been through that. They seem pretty dope. I'm going to try to shoot my shot. So take it where it resonates. Don't force it to fit. Okay, so let's see what the tarot cards got for you. God, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and concise messages for the Leo people. For people with Leo placements, what's the message? And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. What's the message for the Leo people? Our people with Leo placements. On the energy of high vibration, high frequency, and high white light is welcome here, spirit. No energy of low vibration, low frequency, or negativity is welcome. And I ask that you rebuke it in the name of you. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Leo, people with Leo placements. Leo people or people with Leo placements. Leo people or people with Leo placements. always come back to each other so some of y'all can have that little friend that uh y'all always keep running back to it they keep running back to you uh, but it's, it's a problem here because if we keep running back to each other and then i'm daydreaming or longing or i'm seeing building out a future with you but then you got this indecisive wanting me to chase you i ain't got time for it so it's like an energy where two people always come back to each other, but then it seems like maybe y'all end up arguing again because you feel like you already have a dream as to how you want this to go. And this person is indecisive thinking that you want to chase them and just you put your running shoes up. So what we got for Leo? That's just for the Leo people. daydreaming <laughs> it came out i am always longing for you so somebody's longing for somebody possibly because you're in a soul contract with this person which will make sense how you always find your way back the lessons i learned from us will never be forgotten shadow side you made me realize my flaws and values we have too many different values 
So it's a couple of different things going on here. But we definitely got this longer energy, which I feel like the longer energy is created by the soul contract here. But somebody's still dealing with shadow side. And somebody could feel like your values are different. And that's okay to have different values. But it shouldn't be. Like values is like where we come from. How we see, how we operate, how we see things. So, um, but I do feel like the values are due to the shadow side, if that makes sense. It's like, um, let's go with religion. Oh, well, you're spiritual and I'm religious, so I can't fuck with you. That shadow energy because love conquers all, right? It don't matter if you're spending less time judging people in their background, then you will be having more time to wrap your mind around the love, okay? So, but somebody's definitely daydreaming about a spirit, a soul contract that they have. It's because they're, they're in shadow side and you're not going for none of that. As far as your values go, shadow side don't make it. It's not it. It's not allowed. It doesn't. It's not able to cross the threshold. It's not daydreaming. That. Elusive, dishonest, deception, and trickery. Twin flames. Yeah, definitely dealing with the twin flames for some of y'all. Mirroring, shared feelings, and reflection. So somebody could just simply be reflecting over um, the lies, the deception, and the trickery that took place here when it came to a connection that's supposed to be on the soul level. Yep, memories. Somebody's definitely reflecting. And then you're possibly reflecting because somebody's coming in to apologize. And you're reflecting on the past along with um, taking note from your intuition as to how to move when it comes next. Okay, talking about soul contract. And distracted. So I track, change, delays. Ooh. Okay, so somebody, somebody's reminiscing or reflecting on or being forced to reflect on how they showed up as a liar, as a tricker as a deceitful person because they were too distracted um, and sidetracked when it came to what they were supposed to be doing on the soul level with their soul contract you know worldly things is what I'm hearing yeah so since they were distracted they spend all their time trying to escape which is why the chaser energy came out avoiding blocking pushing away trying not to get it fit in their feelings and not only that they was indulging in shadow side energy so because of that Nobody's getting emotional. Motherfuckers is lying and tricking and doing this and doing that. Chemistry. Attraction. Spark. Passion. I do feel like there was a lot of chemistry there, though. Dark side or no dark side. There was chemistry. There was attraction. There was a spark. Some passion. But no real emotional bonding because this person is in their shadow side. Not getting vulnerable. Exactly. Lusting. That's it. That's all they had to offer. Lust. Forbidden, non-committal, sexual energy. That's all they was bringing because of shadow energy. So the chemistry was thick, yeah. And the soul, to not, the soul ties there, yeah. But this person ain't in the right energy in order to um, participate correctly. Values. Influences. And past life. There's the problem. Commitment, conflict, curse. Okay. Commitment, conflict, curse. Okay, so this person, they had some type of commitment before you that put a conflict in their life, brought a lot of conflict, and it makes them feel like maybe they, they curse. Either they feel like they're cursed or they just curse relationships, period. And then you come along and you have a past life relationship with this person, but they're already, they're already influenced by the third party. Not that it is a third party, but whoever this third energy was that screwed them up in a relationship. Now they feel like curse relationships, fuck relationships, fuck committal. So the influence is, is this person's attachment to the last ending that they had. And that's the problem. Even though they share a past life connection here with you. It's just, sorry, this sounds harsh, but it don't seem like it's enough. So we got soul contract. And you, you got daydreaming. So I'm daydreaming on my soul contract. And I know we got a past life. And my intuition is yelling at me. But that's just not enough for me to come out of my shadow energy. And stop being lustful. And lying and deceitful. And it 
at first it's not until karma hits me boom or the lord hits me with a lesson boom now i'm starting to change the way i see things and think about things the way i move around through this lifetime but until they go through the lesson they don't tell me about daydreaming elusive and twin flame for the leo people ten of wands so then they end up holding a bunch of burdens and that's possibly where they at now Holding a bunch of burdens because they allow distractions and escapism and lusting and shadow side to, to hover over this connection until it was just messed up, you know? Could be dealing with uh, an air sign. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like something so beautiful got made a mockery of. Because somebody just didn't follow the intuition. So now they're sitting here daydreaming and pondering over everything that took place within the situation. All the lies that was told. All the deception that took place. All the trickery. But they're doing it with a fact-based mindset. So this is somebody who has the facts. They see exactly how it went down. And now they're looking at it. And when they look at it, it makes them feel burdened. Because they have no, there's nowhere to place the blame anymore. This would be somebody you're very guarded to. You might communicate with them still, but you got your guard up hot in the mug. Again, it's like a soul contract, so it's it's natural that people gonna keep coming back talking at least at some point in life. But at some some people just cut the twin off and just don't fuck with them at all ever. Something about soul contract, distracted and escaping. Somebody was distracted by their lusty. They, 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 um, would you say that they're overindulgence to lusting? So they didn't. They was somebody was doing ego driven shit instead of doing feeding their soul. They were feeding their ego, and that's where the blockages come. Because a soul contract enters your life, but you too distracted because you're escaping because you're trying to do lustful shit and focus on this and focus on that, and then boom spirit block your ass, stop you right in your tracks and force you to reflect on them choices, movements, and decisions that you've been making. This could be you, Leo. It don't have to be, but this is where the spirit is forcing somebody to stand in their power, forcing this person to nourish their soul and forcing them to come out of ego because this is not what they're supposed to be moving. Their spirit is saying, I want growth out of you, which is why I'm sending you messages through your intuition, which is why I'm sending you blessings or love here unconditionally. Yeah, the spirit is getting on this person's ass because ever since they got disappointed in the love situation, they get egotistical, which brings them to this ten of swords. The spirit said he gave them that cup to use it for love, not to be painting on it and putting it on a shelf for as a souvenir. So somebody just checked out of love because their feelings got hurt one time too many or one too one harsh time. What's this uh, Knight of Pentacles reverse? So he blocked them to have them check their movements, their decisions, and how they're showing up. And give them some strength and courage and some power about how they move. And so they can be more um, ethical and more considerate to, to people around them. He's blocking them so he can show these person, whether you were, this is you, Leo, or a person you know in your energy. He blocked this person, slowed them down, stopped them, and they tracked so he can show them that they are an emperor. And they need to move like one. Sometimes life experiences can get you down and make you forget who the fuck you are, how important you are. And I feel like that's what happened to this person. Yeah, something got them in a ball, a pickle, is what I'm hearing. And it, it didn't, they didn't feel like an emperor, right? They start feeling mentally conflicted about, am I an emperor? If I'm such an emperor, how did this happen to me? You know, it's all that kind of stuff that be going through people's heads. But it, this person's been holding themselves back from moving to something that, that's great for them as far as themselves before you enter the picture because they're an emperor they're destined to be an emperor they're signed up for greatness and they haven't been feeling good enough to be an emperor so they've been moving out of ego being low vibrational because they didn't see themselves as the emperor but the lord said hold on wait a minute i see you as emperor so you're gonna see you as an emperor too fix that shit so tell me about this emperor what are you doing with um that aries we got scorpio Now he, now he see it. 
he see himself as an emperor. Because some of y'all, I don't know which part of the process this masculine is in, but somebody's healing or has healed. They're starting to see themselves as an emperor. The more they heal, the more the layers of the clothes peel off and they can see the true version of themselves, which is this emperor. And they're starting to see that this hurt that they experienced or went through is causing them to miss out on things that they really don't want to miss out on. They out here in the shadow side, indulging in chemistry and lust. This is somebody reflecting on their whole little, how they been being. And somebody could be in hermit energy where they gone in to reflect on the inside. In my shadow side. Yep, there's judgment. That's why I said somebody, ooh, they've been frisky. Look at that. The shadow side keeps them in this frisky energy. But it's also what put them under judgment. Which is why they're facing this karma. That they're forcing them to go within and look at themselves. Bringing them out in a transformation. Giving them an opportunity to walk away from their lives and stand in the truth, which they will do it because this is just how the inner work is. This is somebody going through the process of getting the work done. And boom, on the outside is a new opportunity. The right thing because it's the right thing to do. Because right now, or when they was in their shadow energy, or I don't know where they at in the process, they doing shadow shit, lusting and, and chemistry. Right? But I feel like the chemistry was here on a wish fulfillment on what was written in the stars for them. But the lusting was not giving them any victory and bringing them stress and anxiety because it's not really taking them nowhere. And that's not really what they want, but are influenced. Their values have been influenced by pain, which is causing them to show up in ways that they normally wouldn't. So this is somebody checking themselves before they wreck themselves. It's about values. And hoping to save a connection with you in, in the process. Values. Or this is you. Shit. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> and that's what this person's doing. Somebody could be having a, a change in values and how they, because the way, what, something that was built up in the family life for them isn't working, so they're retreating. They could have came up in broken cycles, which is causing them to put an end to whatever their current values are and elevate them, grow them, expand them, turn them into something better, something more balanced, something that works and something that's fair that can have them be different and show up different, move different, stay in the flesh of their self instead of putting on layers of being somebody that you're not because pain will do that to you. Talking about influences, like you could be the nicest motherfucker in the world, then you get your heart broke. Now you're being mean to everybody and shit. That ain't even who you are. That's the point I'm making. Talking about influences. Yep. See, what was influenced is this whole twin flame situation. The growth in it, the, ex the experience, the future, the love that was offered, all of that was thrown off by experiences. Even though it's a past life connection here, but this person is deciding to retreat away from that because they have been doing the work. Good for you. Past life. And now they're ready to come into destiny. That's what that is. Spirit makes a plan, and then sometimes you won't do what you was supposed to do. But the plan won't change. You change to fit the plan. The plan never changes to fit you. You change to fit the plan because that's how God works. Yeah, somebody got a past life connection. This could be Leo, a Leo for some of y'all. You could be with dealing with this water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But your love, basically what this whole lesson is doing is um, opening up your heart. It's opening up your heart space, which work is, which is needed because heart and intuition go hand in hand. So now you're going to be absolutely sure of what your intuition is telling you to do. And not just saying, no, nah, that's not this. You know, maybe you were feeling confused. But your heart has been cleared or being clear so that you can hear clear, your intuition clear. And that way you can, you're learning. This is somebody learning something. This is somebody going through something, some type of learning process. But it helps, it's helping somebody to choose to receive their blessings or to be able to open up and accept them. Because I feel like somebody was dealing with childhood trauma, which kept them in a dark space. And it was causing their actions and the way they showed, they were showing up in the world. It's causing them to lose this and lose that and lose everything. And this is not what they wanted or how they wanted to move. But pain can fuck you up. So 
So that's why I said check yourself before you wreck yourself because somebody don't want to wreck themselves behind a little bit of hurt that they've been through. I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming because I felt it. So this is somebody going in to reflect on themselves. I'm staring at the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. Yeah, that's what somebody's doing because the last thing they want to do is block their blessings. So they checking themselves before they wreck themselves. And you could be the blessing that they're blocking. I don't know where you fit in with this, but this is a good spread. This is what we want. This is what we want to see when we talk about doing the work, when we talk about healing. That's what the fuck we want. Kudos to whoever that is. And it might not feel great. You might feel like shit sometimes, but baby, you're doing good. You hear what I'm saying? This is where you're supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to feel. And this too shall pass. If the Lord brought you to it, he going to help you through it. Keep on going. I'm just saying. Shit. Cleo. We're going to get some ancestor messages. What ancestor messages do we have for the Leo people? God, universe, angels, spirit, gods, and ancestors. What ancestor messages do we have for the Leo people? Cycles, moon. Yep, look at that. There's somebody coming out that cycles, the dark cycles, the shadow side cycles. Yep, and they'll be ready to nurture. And because spirit done taught them, they got a mentor, they got a coach. Spirit is teaching them through this lesson, and as well as spirit guides and ancestors, giving this person knowledge when it comes to their movements and the song that they sing and the dance that they do. Dancing is about movement. It's about showing up and how you come through. That for me as a reader, okay, Leo. Father, peacekeeper, serenity. See, this father, this authority card always gives me God energy. I know it's a higher card in here, but it just gives like authority. This is the Lord. Did you see that? This is somebody's daddy showing up, teaching them how to sail a boat. This is the Lord showing up, teaching somebody how to move in the world, how to how to get to the ships to sail in for them. Okay, and in the same token, keeping the peace right within the midst of the dark. Somebody's definitely going through a lesson. And I feel like it's bringing them to their their, their, their their purest form of self like they used to before all the hurt took over. So that's why it's innocent and purity here. Somebody's getting back to the fresh version of themselves, the inner child version of themselves, before all the trauma got piled on, which is necessary in a lot of cases. We need that. Something about father. But I feel like this is spirit coming in. This is spirit coming in teaching somebody something. But it's also keeping the peace or, or clearing out the drama. Yep, there's the six of, six of cups. This is somebody. This the six of cups is about past renewing, but it's also about childhood trauma. This is spirit guiding somebody from their traumas, whether it be childhood or adulthood, whatever traumas that in, imposed upon this person to help them to go in the dark. Spirit is showing them the light. In the dark, in the dark night, so that they can know where to travel, where to go, so that they can be built up, so that they can grow, expand, so that they can change their perspective, and so that they can show up as a king in this world. That could be you, Leo. You're showing up as somebody who is has integrity and does the right thing. Somebody who's good looking, inspired, has confidence, and takes action. Spirit is teaching somebody the ropes so that they can do it, because somebody got trapped up in a dark place. Talking about serenity, peacekeeper. Yep. Somebody got trapped up in a dark space, a dark space, and it was having them show up in the world as not such a great person. Right? But they know that's not who they are, and they didn't mean to do that. Once the reflection got shown back to them, they were like, oh shit, that's me, that's how I'm doing it. Yep, that's how you're doing it. So that's what happens. And the person don't like it, they start putting the work in. This is eight of pentacles. This is resources working on, but this is also doing the work for me as a reader. Doing the work, okay? 
And yeah, I feel like this person is doing some work. I don't know if they're still in the process of being coached about spirit or they're rushing quick as hell to their new beginning. Because what's going to happen after spirit get done doing all of this with the person, they're going to rush and they're going to take a leap of faith because they're going to realize exactly how much the Lord loves them. And they're going to start to understand why he's been doing things the way he's been doing them. No, they won't begin to understand his complete and utterly planned, but you'll be able to understand and wrap your mind about his perspectives and the way he sees things and you'll start to trust him more and you'll just start to fall into the flow of what he wants you to do feeling safe to know that whatever god has for you is the best way because his plan is the greatest plan of all because he knows the route that should take that can leave us in least resistance and least hurt right so we're taking them notes what happened is in your lesson and your healing you'll take the notes from spirit you'll equip them for yourself and then you'll move out to take a leap of faith to do it on your own to experience what he should you know to 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 test out what he what you've learned and what you what he's shown you in the real fit spirit i mean the real physical form right so this is somebody either going through healing or they've been they're cut they're over there um conquering healing which is a good one this is somebody checking themselves before they wreck themselves because they don't want to wreck themselves and they don't want to wreck anybody else because of the way that they're treating people so that's good i like this i like this for you or for whoever it's for but this is good this is growth right here okay so that's what i got for you leo and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in your next video namaste and be blessed